We're making the best of the last dry summer days by taking out all the sails and figuring out what it takes to get the ship under sail again. My name is Gijs and this is my dad. And this is Schooner Tigerai. We have recently started a major rebuild to get her ready for new adventures. And we're sharing the process with you. Subscribe to stay tuned. After the last video, I got a lot of positive response from you guys about the shop for merchandise. So I'm pleased to tell you that as of right now, you can buy your own Tiger Shark t-shirt at tigersharkboatworks.com. Like this one. Or this one. With that out of the way, let's get started. It's a bit early in the rebuild to be getting the sails ready. Because there's lots and lots of work to be done inside. But the inside work can wait for when it's cold and rainy. So let's have a look at the new second hand schooner sail. As we've never taken it out of the sail bag and we don't know exactly how big it is. Turns out it's a bit smaller than we thought. But that's not necessarily bad because we thought we wouldn't be able to fit the boom. But it appears that we can raise the sail high enough to pass the boom over the roof of the new wheelhouse. This saves us a lot of work because we can just reuse the old boom, sheet and sheet winch. And we can even install the old sheet traveler on the roof of the new wheelhouse. We did cut off the traveler a bit rough, so it needs some new end plates to mount it on the roof. We tack welded it on the correct position and put the final welds and paint in the shed. Now it can be installed permanently. It has always been possible to sail the ship with as little as two persons. To achieve that, most lines in the running rigging were equipped with winches, so that one person alone can hoist or trim a sail. We want to keep it that way because that makes us more flexible to go sailing whenever we want. Some of these winches have been removed over the years. So we've searched the shed for every winch we could find to see if they were still usable. Fortunately, only one winch has a broken bearing. All the other ones are still in quite good condition apart from some rust. Almost all these winches have plain bearings either from steel or cast iron. A plain bearing is very simple, just a shaft turning around in a bush. That needs to be lubricated with grease or oil to make it turn freely. Over the years, the clearance between the bearing and the shaft becomes bigger due to wear or rust. To make sure the new bearing will last a while longer, we've chosen to replace the broken plain bearing with a closed ball bearing, which has its own lubrication inside and doesn't need any maintenance. The ball bearing does go very tight around the shaft, because the inner part of the bearing turns together with the shaft and the outer part is stationary with the foundation of the winch. For that the shaft needs to be the exact diameter of the bearing, so it needs some cleaning up on the lathe.
The other winches just need a fresh coat of paint. We would love for all our winches to be stainless steel or bronze or some alloy, but it would be a shame to throw away all this old stuff while it's still usable. Plus it saves a lot of money. On board we need some foundations for all these new winches. And they need to be aligned with their top block either halfway or in top of the mast. Our two topping lift winches are fully made out of bronze, which makes them very heavy. The topping lift is the wire that lifts up the end of the boom. During sailing it's normally slack, because the sail then lifts the boom up. But when the sail is being hoisted or lowered, the topping lift carries the boom. We've chosen to use these winches for topping lifts, because they are quite slow, which is perfect for a line that only needs to be taken in or slacked roughly 1 meter. All the sheet winches on board are equipped with a handwheel, which makes them a lot more user friendly than if they just had a handle. The halyard winches of the main and schooner sail were lacking this handwheel, so we decided to check with the nearby winch builder for some second hand wheels, of which he had plenty. A handwheel on a winch kind of works like a flywheel, meaning you can use your muscle power more efficiently to haul in a line. It is also somewhat of a safety feature. Because when the winch is running free, you are less likely to get hurt on a spinning wheel than on a spinning handle. Unfortunately, after putting both handwheels in their first coat of primer, disaster struck and one of the two fell on the concrete floor. Dropping cast iron on concrete is a very bad idea, as it's very brittle, so you'll end up with a lot of pieces. Instead of going back for another one, we decided to try and repair this one. Welding cast iron is not an easy task, but it's not impossible. For starters, the material around the weld needs to be cleaned up, like with any other weld. You also need special electrodes, mostly made out of nickel. Furthermore, the material needs to be preheated, but not hotter than 60 degrees Celsius. And during welding, the material around the weld should also stay below 60 degrees Celsius, to avoid the iron becoming too brittle. So it's wise to put short welds and let the material cool down between the welds. After each weld, it helps to hit the weld with a hammer to release the tension from the material. When completely finished welding, the material should cool down slowly, so we wrapped it in towels for a few hours, after which it was ready to install on the winch. Having the topping lift and halyard winches ready means we can reinstall the mainsail boom on the ship. Because we removed the bumpkins on the aft ship and moved the backstays forward, the boom is now too long. So we have to check how much it needs to be shortened to avoid it getting caught in the backstays during an unexpected jibe. After this we can measure what the dimensions of the mainsail will be, and check 
if we have something laying around that fits. The new second-hand schooner sail comes from a ship that was equipped with a wishbone gaff. And somewhere in the past 20 years, that bought a second-hand wishbone gaff from another ship, which needs a thorough clean and fresh coat of paint before we can try it on the ship. This wishbone gaff also needs a gooseneck to connect it to the mast. On traditional ships, the gaff usually slides along the mast using a saddle. But since these masts are equipped with a track for slides, the wishbone will also slide up and down along this track, so it gets a gooseneck similar to the boom. With that finished, we can install the wishbone. The wishbone will also be used to lift the dinghy on deck, if we don't want it hanging in the davits, for instance during a crossing with bad weather. For that purpose, we've installed a hoisting winch and two guide rope winches to be able to steer the wishbone above the dinghy. 
during sailing, these lines will be disconnected. Unfortunately, we cannot test it right now because the dinghy is still at the sailmaker to get the storage cover. That's all the winch is finished, but we are not going to hoist any sails right now. That's for next summer, or for just before we plan to go sailing. What we are going to do is take out all the sails that we don't know the dimensions of to see what we can use. We found two jibs, two stay sails, three genoas, one storm jib, one storm tri-sail and two spare schooner sails. When measuring the old mainsail, we found that it still fits on the main boom. But it's 3 meters short on the mast, so we'll keep it on board as spare. We found one sail that's too large to fit anywhere, but it can be modified to become the new main sail. So for now we have enough sails, although the state of them varies. Some of them are as good as new, and some of them have been used but are not yet at the end of their life. We'll see how long it takes before they're completely worn out. At some point we will have to buy complete new sales, but that's for future us to worry about. For now we're all set. For the upcoming 6 weeks I will be sailing in Brazil on the beautiful tall ship Oosterschelde. To get my sailing days to become a watchkeeping officer on all sailing ships. That will continue on the rebuild and I will try to keep you guys updated on the progress. But that's all for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.